Hey guys, tonight was one of those nights when I went down a Google rabbit hole about another topic, but then I came across this from September 2016 in the New York Post, and I think a bunch of other media picked up on it as well. This is a woman who lived with the corpse of her dead son for 20 years. This is an elderly widow called Rita Wolfenson, and she lives in Brooklyn, New York, in a really nice house, which was worth around $700,000 before it reached a state of dilapidation. It just fell into complete disrepair. This story broke when a relative of Rita's showed up at her home to fetch some belongings to take them to her in hospital. Rita was um, unfortunately unwell and had been taken to hospital. So this relative who hadn't seen Rita or her son for many, many years found a home that was debris stricken, completely in disarray. And it appears that Rita had been suffering from hoarding disorder. Now, hoarding disorder is a real psychological disorder. I think probably everybody's heard about hoarders. You might even know someone who's a hoarder, but maybe not to the extremes that some people go to. A hoarding disorder, according to the NHS, is where someone acquires an excessive number of items and stores them in usually a chaotic manner, resulting in an unmanageable amount of clutter. You know, in worst case scenarios, people fill their entire homes with clutter and garbage, which to many other people can seem just like trash with no monetary value whatsoever. Usually, it's a symptom of a deeper condition. For example, it could be someone like Rita who's registered blind, she was elderly, she might have mobility problems and just physically unable to clear the huge amount of clutter that she'd acquired. It could be a result of dementia. It could be a result of a mental health problem. People with hoarding disorder also tend to have comorbid depression or a psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia. And hoarding disorders are actually categorised along with obsessive compulsive disorders. Now, I know that when people think of OCD, they think of someone who obsessively washes their hands, you know, 40 times a day or they feel the need to check the door 10 times before they leave their home. But no, obsessive compulsive disorder takes many forms and hoarding disorder actually can be that type of problem, um, a form of obsession or compulsion. But in this case, an obsession a compulsion to store things, to hoard things. You know, many people who have um, a hoarding disorder strongly believe that they might need that item someday. They might feel that going out getting stuff that other people don't want is a way that might make them happy or may help them in the future. Other people might be struggling to cope with stressful life events such as the death of a loved one and attempting to discard things. They might want to get rid of some stuff. They might be aware that they've got too much stuff, but it brings up too much emotion for them. So there's many reasons why people hoard and why some people become obsessive hoarders. So please don't think I'm being flippant when telling this story because it is a very serious one and in this case an incredibly serious one because Rita's son was deceased and he'd been deceased for an estimated 20 years. Now Rita was widowed in 1987 when her husband Jesse died and apparently she also had another son who died in 2003. So a lot of loss in Rita's life. For whatever reason, you know, families just fall apart sometimes. They lose touch with each other. And this is definitely the case with Rita. But like I said, it was when a relative who's a sister-in-law, Josette Buckman, went to pick up some stuff for Rita from her home. 
that she realised just what a horrible situation Rita had been living in. And there she found this horrific discovery. In this debris-strewn second-floor bedroom, there was a completely intact skeleton, still dressed in jeans, socks and a shirt. And um, she called NYPD. It's like some reverse psycho scene, a law enforcement source said at the time, referring to Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 horror movie in which a son, Norman Bates, kept his dead mother's remains in uh, a basement. But she was, by all accounts, unaware that he was there. There was a full investigation and it, it is believed that Rita didn't know she was living with the corpse of her son. There was cobwebs, garbage, food remains. I mean, can you imagine if she hadn't been up the stairs for 20 years? Cops referred to it as if a garbage truck had just dumped an entire load into the inside of that house. The entire house reeked of rotting food but not of decaying flesh because that had all gone. The son was a skeleton. And when police questioned Rita, she spoke about her son as if he was alive and she said she'd not seen him for many years, but he moved out. Well, he actually didn't move out. He died in bed. Now, we don't know how he died because he's just a skeleton now, but relatives said that they hadn't seen him for 20 years. Bizarre and very, very sad. Let me know what you think. Have you heard about this story? This is the first time I came across this story. I thought I would share it with you. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye guys.